Well, hello, hello, hello everybody. My name is Falconize, and welcome back to Trail in the Sky. Oh, my head. <laughs> so, yeah, last time we, we we finally. What is it? What do we do? <laughs> we already investigated some stuff. And uh, we were investigating this Abbey Royal Villa as well. So, yeah, I didn't do anything because I cannot do anything. <laughs> okay, so before we started. Uh, before we get into the episode, I just want to say I'm sorry if this mic can uh, pick up some noises from the outside because right beside where I live, like right there, that's there, <laughs> there is some uh, construction thingy going on. So they and they started hammering just today because yesterday it's still fine, but today they start hammering, like the noise is just. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting crazy over here, just getting the noises of it. Of it. So uh, I'm sorry if the if it is this mic can uh, capture those noises, but I'll do my best to try to kind of what is it? I guess kind of uh, turn down the noises if it is uh, caught in this mic because I feel like this mic is pretty good on on uh, uh, catching some noises, you know. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that's that's it for my information so I'm sorry if you can hear it if not then it's fine They're like just act like there's nothing happened okay <laughs> so yeah anyway okay so what do we do <laughs> I have no idea uh, does it be a real inspector the guilt for now mm -hmm. this we already finished this one right uh, let's hurry back to the guild. Okay, so this is this. So we need to go back to the guild then. Alright, got it, got it, got it. So so where's my party? Where are the others though? Ah, okay. Of course there must be some event going on. Alright, don't forget to close the door. Oh, Estelle! Rene, okay. Estelle, Shira, are you done? That was kind of quick, wasn't it? Didn't I tell you? We just needed to turn in a report. You could have just waited at the guild house. Aw, that's mean. I just want to stay with you, Estelle. Tita, say something to her. But me? Well, I do want to stay with Estelle all the time, but she has work to do, so I don't want to be selfish. <laughs> Fine then. In that case, I'll just have to run off with Estelle myself. You don't get to play, Tita. Aw, Rene, you're so mean. <laughs> Come on, you two, don't fight. Tita, you're the older girl here, so let it slide, okay? But, but, you two seem really close all of a sudden. Aw, oh, Tita is jealous. <laughs> I'm not annoying, am I? Nope, nope, totally not. Aw, oh, come on, sweetie. Like, I could ever stop loving you. Mmm, there we go. Mm. <laughs> well, Tita, you keep making that sad, lonely face, and I'm just gonna have to hug you all up. Ah, stop, Estelle. Hey, Tita, pity hugs for pity hugs are cheating. You get much more popular with the ladies, Estelle, and Olivia might get jealous. <laughs> that is true, actually. <laughs> with that out of the way, though, we really need to hurry back to the guild house. Oh yeah, we should. Huh? Did something happen? I'm afraid so. Remnants of the intelligence division have been found in Pose. That's awful. Yeah, but we're still a bit fuzzy on the details. Ellen can hopefully tell us more. We really need to hurry back then. Ah, this isn't fair, you guys. I don't know what you're talking about at all. <laughs> Sorry, Rene. Basically, something very important has happened, so we need to go back. Oh, well, that was easy. Too bad. It'd be it'd be fun to play hide and seek with all the soldiers. We could use the whole forest as a hiding place. That'd be fun, right? Um, that might be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not do that and say we did. Okay. You guys ready to go? All right then. So we should go back to the guild now then. I right, cool. Guild it is. Huh. Another event. I'm too bright. I need to turn it down a little bit. It should be. Yeah, that should be okay. Ish, I think. Ah, whatever. 
Hey, isn't that... Who? Oh. What is the meaning of this? Do you deliberately besmirch me, Dunan von Oslo as rightful heir to the throne? N no, your grace, not at all. In fact, this morning we put a plan into motion to slay any monsters along the road to Granza. You will be completely safe with the allotted escort. That is not the point. An honor guard of a mere three men is wholly unacceptable for a man of my stature and importance. I demand at least a full squadron. Ten men, go. But, your grace. Your grace, please do not demand so much of them. Her Royal Highness has finally given leave for us to return. Please, we should consider ourselves lucky to have received such kindness itself. Silas Philip! This punishment was the height of injustice to begin with. Given the outrageous grievances levied against me, I should demand nothing less than the whole royal guard to meet me. Well, we may not be the entire royal guard, but we could go with you if you'd like. Please no. <laughs> please no. Just please no. You! Miss Estelle! Uh, haven't changed a bit, have you, Duke, old buddy? It's not very dukely to railroad everyone with your selfishness. Very you, but not very dukely. How dare you call me buddy, you, you impertinent nobody? Why are you even here? The fella was to be closed off to the common rabble. Yeah, you see, we had actual work to do here. So going for a walk, old buddy? More than a mere shrewd girl, prepared to be shocked. Alicia has come to her senses and released me from this unjust punishment which bound me here. The unjust punishment? They have actually released you from the from house arrest? Indeed, word arrived from Her Royal Highness this morning. She instructed us to depart from the villa and return to Grand Castle. Her Majesty's heart really is too big for her own good. Ooh. Well, good for you, I guess. Well, try and keep a clear head so you don't get played a second time, okay? What? And, you know, don't you think you should examine your lifestyle a bit? You're kind of a slacker, buddy. Maybe you could start with a bit of exercise. Oh! Dropping the exercise bomb! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I said something weird? No, it is exactly as you say, Miss Estelle. If His Grace only had a better hold on his life, he would not have been so easily manipulated by Colonel Richard. Allow me to echo your suggestion. Ooh, dang, Philip! Bah! Enough of your lectures! Enough of this! I shall not remain here a second longer among such riffraff. We depart for the capital. Uh, Your Grace? Huh? Were you just going on about not having enough men? No! Come, let's go, men! Thank you. Thank you. We don't have to travel along with him. Miss Estelle, it may be an old refrain by now, but thank you. I'm not sure how to express my gratitude. <laughs> ah, don't worry about it. But, I don't know. I think you really need to drop the hammer a bit more, Philip. I think he's, I think he's the way he is because nobody's ever really even scolded him, you know? Ah, uh, yes. That is true. I don't really think he's that rotten. Deep deep down, so I think he can still change. Don't you think he just needs a hand? Miss Estelle, your words ring so true. Philip! Why are you dawdling with peasants? If you keep loitering, we'll depart without you. Uh, yes, your grace, I shall be but a moment. If you will excuse me. <laughs> oh boy, what a nice start of this episode indeed. <laughs> you know... I think we probably should have gone with them, but... Oh, Estelle, you really are Cassius' daughter. But <laughs> Estelle, you're incredible. Um, Estelle, I kind of noticed when we first met, you're kind of, um, too nice, aren't you? Too nice, huh? Don't worry too much over it. Let's return to Grandson. Alright. I mean, being nice is good. Too nice? Mm, well, that's actually pretty good. But just be careful of it because people might get advantage of it. So you can be too nice, but just don't get your card down. That's what I'm saying. 
So, walk it is then. All right, Gransel. Okay, here it is. Gransel South Walk. So we need to get back to the guild. There we go. Nice. Okay, we are back. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. You delivered a report, I take it? Yep, no problem. We just received the mission fee from the army a moment ago. Here, let me give you the reward. Okay. <laughs> Yay for Colonel Sid! He does some fast work. Anyway, more importantly, I'd heard some of the old intelligence guys were near were seen near Bose. Ah, so the villa was contacted as well. I thought that might be the case. We were just talking about that as it so happens. Yes, it sounded like some fellow guild members found them. Yes, it was Agate and Analyst. Oh! What? They discovered a base the Intelligence Division fugitives had been using in the, in the abandoned mine near Ravenue. Unfortunately, the base itself had already been abandoned as well by the time they found it. That's where we fought those bandits? Yeah. I see. I wouldn't have thought to look there. You said they'd abandoned it already. Do we have any idea where they went? Actually, former Intelligence Special Forces men have been seen all over the Boche region. Burp. I mean, we do know who, who did all of this thing, so... <laughs> the border garrison is currently investigating the situation. Oh man, should we pack it up and head over to Boche to help? No, until we get a request for help from the Boche branch directly, I would prefer not to act rashly. There's another reason for caution, is as well. It seems the society has a hand on in this. What? You're kidding! Agate and Analyst encountered one of their agents in the abandoned mine. Another enforcer, Campanella the Fool. Yep. Hmm, another new face. They also found several strange things in the ruins of the base. Firstly, they discovered plans for something called an Orgil, which seems to be some form of orbital drive and vehicle. They also found a memo written in cipher discussing a tea party of some sort. Or Gail? Tea party? Well, that explains everything and leaves us with no questions. No Shire. What do you mean by orbital driven vehicle? What is it? I'm more concerned about what a tea party could refer to. Hmm? Ready? The heck, I, the heck you got, the heck you got, you went. Goodness, it's hard to simply stay here and wait after hearing all that. Come on, cool your heads, guys. Uh, the army and our guild mates are working hard over there. I'm sure they'll keep things under control. We'll hear about it soon enough. Exactly. I know it may make, your, make you nervous, but please remain in Grandson for the time being. For now, you may do as you please. Alright, I'm sure Olivia will, will, will appreciate... Hey, wait. Where did Olivia go? Ah, yes. The Erebonian embassy called a, while, a little while ago. It was Olivia. He said that he had a small piece of business to attend to and left. He did say he would return quickly. Huh, I wonder what's that? What's that about? Wait, speaking of missing... Yep, Rene just went out, so... Where... where did Rene go? What? Huh? Oh, she was here just a minute ago. Crap, do you think she got bored with all the talking and went out to play? I guess. It's quite possible. We were going on a bit. Well, this isn't good. Darn it. We do need to do something about her if we're going to leave Gransel. I'm gonna go look for her. I'll come too. I think I might know where Rene went. Thanks, Tida. Sorry, Elnan. Not at all. While you were out, I'll get the other branches up to speed and see if I can learn anything new. Please from your party, you may choose one additional member aside from the mandatory members. I mean, Chloe. I mean, at this point, I think it doesn't really matter who I bring because we're just looking for Rene. Right? Hopefully. <laughs> well, for me, Chloe is a must have. Now then, where would I hide it if I was a silly little girl? Tida, any ideas? Um. We went by a lot of places in the Eastern Block yesterday. Maybe she's at one of those places? Uh, which places? Um, let's see. First we looked around the department store, then we went to the History Museum, 
and then we stopped by the ice cream stand near the clock tower. Wow, you two were busy. Sounds like you had a lot of fun, Taunita. Hehe. <laughs> let's begin by checking around those places then. Yes, let's go fetch our stray kitten. Alright, is block it is then. Let's this way, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just want to make sure. Okay. So, department store. I don't think she's here. Hey! Ah, she is here. Well. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh, there she is! Wait, we gotta follow her! Da 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 uh, I think we lost her again. My goodness, this is like trying to catch a hyperactive kitten. Tita, you and Rena visited the department store yesterday, didn't you? Uh, yeah. She might have gone somewhere else, though. I don't think she could have gotten too far. Let's look around the eastern block for her. Well, I guess the museum. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but should be somewhere around here. Yep, there we go. Then the last one is the ice cream. Okay. Ding. You said you came in here before, right, Dita? Yeah, we looked at everything. Good day. Are you visitors? Um, we're looking for someone, actually. I still described ran into the receptionist. Oh, the young lady in the white dress who was with the girl you're accompanying today? Yeah, that's her. You remembered us? Well, you do stood out a bit, and yes, I saw her just a little while ago. She stood still be in the museum, I believe. Awesome, thanks. Okay, let's go trap a kitten. Hmm. Hmm, she's not here. Probably here. No. So up here, I guess. Uh... Hmm. Okay. Hey! Hey, miss. Do you know where the col colorless fish are? Uh... <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, uh, well. Uh, miss, pardon me. Your friends are... Uh, Rene? Colorless fish? What are, you, what are you plotting now? Wait, Rene! Rene, please wait! Still not here. I'm so sorry. I did try to stop her, but... No, it's okay. Did she say anything before she left, though? Uh, yes, yeah, she asked me a very strange question. She said, do you know where the colorless fish are? But Hmm... That doesn't sound, seem like a typical question for a little girl. I think that's a riddle, actually. A riddle? What? I think she's trying to make us chase her by solving riddles she leaves behind. You're kidding me! Now she's running away from us on purpose? Ah, uh, Renny, you little... Ah, uh, well, it's just a guess, really. Okay, little cat girl. You want to play like that? Then let's do it. I'm not about to lose to an... 11 year old, come on! Ah, uh, Estelle, winning isn't the point. Um, so, the riddle is, do you know where the colorless fish are? Yeah, so we need to find us some color colorless -less fish first. Ah, uh, well, good luck! What? What? <laughs> first blue blanc, now this? Oh, gosh! Okay, so I need to visit the ice cream on the clock tower. Where's the clock tower, though? Mm, I'm not too sure, but... Ah, uh, there we go. Mm, ultima ice cream? Yeah, why not? Get some ice cream. Nice. Good, even though I'm not gonna use them. Okay. Mm, there's nothing, really. Uh, okay. Mm, I'm talking about ghosts in ruin, huh? We solved that problem already. 
Okay, so colorless fish. I have no idea. Uh, do you know where the color colorless fish are? Ugh. Colorless fish. What kind of stuff? Kind of. Yep. Mm. Well, there's a fisherman guild. We could ask around. Let's try. <laughs> uh huh. Well, <laughs> hmm. Colorless fish. Hey. Of course, fish prints. Oh, interested in my fish prints, are you? That's proof of my hard-earned glory, that is. Settle on down, and I'll tell you the tale of my father. Uh, well, we... Uh, we'll have to take a rain check on that, I'm afraid. Sir, did a girl in a white dress came by here? Ah, she's your friend. Cute girl, that one. If a bit of an oddball. She asked me a very strange question and then left. Just like that. I knew it. What was the question, sir? Hmm, if I remember, remember rightly. Do you know where the bitter, spicy, delicious store is? It's definitely not a riddle. Bitter, spicy, delicious. Got it. So it should be a restaurant or something. Alright, time to hit the stores. Hmm, yeah, so maybe a good idea to check on the bar right away. Oh, this is the end. Hmm. Bup, 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 bup. Not this one, okay. Bup, 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 bup. Okay, so it's definitely not here. But there's another bar on the west block. Bup, 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 bup. Let's see, let's see. Or should I check around on the grocery sh This is the Orbital Factory. Uh, yeah, let's go to the west block and see. Ba -ba -ba. Should be around this one. Coffee house. Not what I expecting, but let's just visit it. Okay. Not this one. Not this one. Oh. Well. <laughs> okay. Alright, uh, then so. Oh. Well, okay. <laughs> uh, say, Parky, what's your specials? Our best specials are coffee, of course. Our most popular item is our dark roasted dragon bean blend. Our spice heavy curry is also really popular. Spicy curry and bitter coffee, huh? It's a bitter, spicy, delicious store. Pardon, but have you seen a little girl in a white dress? Yeah, she was in here not too long ago. She ordered a cafe all late and seemed to love it. Come to think, she did ask me a very strange question though. What would that be, sir? What was it now? Do you know where they sell the sweets that disappears if if you leave them alone, I think? Huh, sweets that disappear if you leave them alone. Okay, wrote that down. I think we're tightening the, no the news. I might know what this one is. Okay. Okay, so I'm sorry guys if you're already screaming out on your monitor like, at the moment. Like, it's right there, just talk to the uh, shop clerk, the shop assistant, or the shop keep. And I'm sorry. <laughs> but the last one, uh, I think it's the ice cream store. Because, you know, if you leave it like that, it will disappear because it's melting, so... That's my guess. Let's see if I can. Okay, this is not <laughs> the place. It's this one. Yeah, nailed it. Hmm, Swiss that disappear if you leave them alone. I get it. Yes, if you leave frozen treats alone, they do disappear by melting. Oh, hey, you're the girl from yesterday. Your, your cute little friend just stopped by for an ice pop. You two aren't together today. I thought so. Um, miss, did she tell you a riddle by any chance? A riddle? I don't think so. She was very cheerful and told me, I'm gonna go see my friends at the landing port. The friends being us, I bet. <sighs> Finally done with riddles, I hope. 
<laughs> We've certainly been toyed with enough. Seriously, making us worry and run around like this? I'm giving her the biggest lecture when we finally catch her. Um, uh, Estelle, please don't get too mad at her. I think Renee is just kind of lonely. You've all been busy with work and her parents are missing and... Uh, that's true, we have neglected her a little. Aww, way to kill my righteous lecture, lecture fury, Tita. Either way, we need to get to the landing port. Alright, landing port it is then. Uh, I wonder what's gonna happen though. It's up there. Oh. Oh! Oh, hello guys! Hey! Gustav! Gustav, hey! What? Tita? Whoa, Tita! And is that Estal Bright? Well, hot dang! Long time to see! <laughs> yeah, it's good to see you're doing okay, Gustav. What are you guys doing here? What is ki This is kind of off the path for you guys. <laughs> We're bringing these things over. Ooh. Whoa, what the heck are those? Wait, wait, that's gotta be... Yep, those are the samples of the XG-02. It's the new engine we developed for the Arsail. These are the real deal, too. Just about as much performance as what we've got in her now. So this is what it looks like. Neat? <laughs> okay, I messed it up. Ah, uh, whatever. Really? Really, really? Oh, wow. It's tiny for an engine, but it really produces as much output as the shit grandpa showed me. The design is functional and adorable, too. It's amazing. Uh, down, Tita. Down. I think Tita is so high above the clouds, she, can even, she cannot even hear you. A pair of engines brought to the capital. This must be the engine samples that will be presented at the 3D signing then. Yeah, guess word got around, huh? We just finished putting the air cell back together, so we had to cart this over here. I see. Thank you greatly for your hard work, sir. Uh, okay. Sorry, but you are... Oh, my apologies. I guess there's no point in hiding it from you, sir. I'm Claudia von Osles. Claudia? But wait, I said... Princess Claudia? Yep, she's Queen Alicia's granddaughter. The Arcel is the property of the royal family, so allow me to offer my gratitude for your hard work in grandmother's place. <laughs> well, no, thank you, ma'am, or your highness. <laughs> it's always kind of a shock to hear about Chloe, isn't it? So where are you guys lugging these things off to anyway? There's a warehouse out near the water port we'll be using. Now I'll be stored there until the ceremony. Fair enough. Um, Gustav, are you going back to size after this? Yep. We make trails as soon as these are locked up. Now, Tita, you behave yourself and stay safe. I will. Stay safe too, Gustav. Esther, take care of our little Tita, do you, you hear? You bet. See ya, bracers. That's a high-quality machine there. I'm loving it, even though I'm not a machine expert, but it looks pretty cool, you know, looks pretty slick. Wow, so that's the Arcel's engine? I still don't really get how it works, but it looks cool. Hmm, I still knows. <laughs> yeah, seeing that was amazing. I hope I can make a machine that incredible and cute someday. I bet you will someday, Tita. Alright, next. That's... Get our little kitten. Ah, oh, jeez. The Zeisbahn passengers line or Linde will be departing momentarily. All passengers, please board immediately. No. Oh. Didn't expect to meet you. Farewell, Olivier. I don't know why I'm even bothering, but for goodness sake, please stay out of trouble while I'm away. <laughs> ah, such sweet concern, my heart, it soars. But fear not, have I ever made you worry, my dearest Mueller? Like, every single time. <laughs> At this point, I cannot bring myself to care enough to worry about you. Just, no international incidents, please. For you, my beloved, I'll do my best. All right. Hmm. Let me get some water first. Uh. 
Uh, that's good. Hey, Olivia. Ah, everyone. Have you missed me so that you came to look for me? I am touched. As if. Anyway, wasn't that Mueller? Uh, that's Rennie. Why was a member of the Imperial Army boarding a passenger liner? Ah, it seems his studios have called him the Bose temporarily. Temporarily. <laughs> I cannot even speak. You recall that gang of sky bandits? Yes. He has gone to retrieve their airship. Oh yeah, that little green bucket they had. Green <laughs> bucket. But wait, why would Mueller care? Ah, the ship is of Erebonian manufacture, remember? And the bandits who abused it so are still at large. The imperial government would like to retrieve the evidence, that is, the airship, and assist in capturing the criminals. Or at least, that is what they have told Liberal. Uh, I still don't get why Arabonia should care. So the airship was made there. So what? Well, the fact that the bandit leaders are former Arabonian nobility tarnishes Arabonia's luster, shall we say. I suspect they'd like to have it well swept under the floorboards before the pact is signed. That is, before the Republic has a chance to command on it. The bandits are former... Wait a minute, that tomboy and her brothers are? You were truly unaware? They are the family of the former Baron Capua. He was a Helen holder on the Empire's Northern March. Several years ago, the Capua lands were, si were seized as collateral in payment for an enormous debt. Whoa, I never realized. Burp. Oh, gosh. Okay. That's really sad, actually. I don't know what to say to that. Even so, it isn't exactly what I'd call an airtight excuse for airborne theft. Regardless, I came to see my stalwart companion off. I'm afraid none of this explains why you're here, though. If you did not come here for the undeniable pleasure of my company... We're looking for Rene. You haven't seen her, have you? Rene? You shouldn't see standing right over there. Uh... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rene! What? When did she... Uh, hey, Rene! You cannot just disappear like that, okay? And not only that, but you ran away from us and confused a whole bunch of people in the process, and... I'm sorry, but I was so bored. Also, I bought some cookies and tea at the department store. I bought enough for everyone, so please, don't be mad, okay? Well, I mean, you got cookies and tea, so... Come on. <laughs> Just come on. Uh... <laughs> Well, it was quite a bit of fun for us too, Estelle. Let's just call it even and let us let it go. <sighs> I suppose. Okay, you get to escape a scolding for now anyway. Really? Yay, Rene, good job! Shall we return to the guild house with fees in hand and... It's possible some new information has come in. Right. Hmm? Has something happened? Apparently, there's something going on in Bose. Uh, wait. Didn't you say Mueller is going to Bose? So he is. Come, tell me the details as we walk. Yes, let's go. So that's the that's the thing though. Cookies and tea solve all the problems. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cookies and tea will get you anywhere. Alright. Hey, Estelle. What's up? I'm not angry anymore. Don't worry. <laughs> no, that's not it. Besides, you aren't scary even when you are angry, Estelle. If you want to see scary little girl, I can totally arrange it. But, um, what's up then? Well, while I was out, this boy gave me a ladder, ladder to give to you. A uh, ladder? Yeah, it was weird. Here, take it. Rene handed Estelle a ladder. Huh? It is addressed to me. Yeah, like I said. Who's this from? Hehe. <laughs> I think the ladder might tell you. I am uh, kind of peaked. Oh, well, uh, let's see. Estelle opened the ladder. My dearest Estelle, I've thought this over again and again, and now I realize there's something I absolutely must tell you. I know this is a lot to ask, but can I meet you alone? I'll be waiting this evening at the Gurun Gate, above the eh Annenberg Wall. Who's that? Wh what? <laughs> is it from who I thought after all? 
As soon as I saw him, I remembered you telling me that story and figured it was the boy you were talking about. Oh, really? Th th this? Renny, who gave this to you? A really cute boy with black hair and amber eyes. Oh, okay. He asked me to give it to you when I was at the landing port. Of course. That was the Joshua you talked about, right, Estelle? I... maybe. The writing looks like his, too. So, it's got to be him. Evening at the Good Gate, above the Annenberg. Evening. Ideas, that's practically now! Estelle, honey, what's wrong? Elden's about to brief everyone on our findings. Why are you out here? Shut up! What should I do? Hmm? Estelle, what's wrong? Come now, tell me. Estelle wordlessly showed Shiraz out the letter. This is from Joshua, isn't it? I think so. Rene said she got it from someone that looks just like him. I see. Alright, off you go. What? I'll come up with something to tell the others. Or would you rather stay here and mope? And mope? Oh, Shira, thank you, thank you. You too, Rene, thank you for telling me. Goodbye. You're what? She's gone already. Does she really want to meet Joshua that badly? Yes, she does. Joshua is the whole reason she's traveling after all. Are you sure this is a good idea, Estelle? I mean, I know you miss Joshua and all. <sighs> Above the Annenberg wall, at the Gurren Gate. I've got to hurry. But going there alone? Hmm, seems very suspicious to me. But we'll see. We finally get to meet Joshua again, huh? I didn't expect to be this fast. <laughs> I thought at least like one more chapter until we met him. But we're still in chapter 3 and we already met him. Met him. Or maybe it is a trap. It's actually not him. I have no idea. <laughs> Let's just go straight to there. Get in gate. And thankfully, there's literally no monsters around, so... The Royal Army, the Royal Guard really did a great job on <laughs> uh, banishing other monsters, you know? It's a smooth walk now. <laughs> I don't really need to be afraid to dodge around and stuff. Okay. Get in gate. It's evening already. Crap. Okay, calm down. Above the Annenberg, in other words, on, on top of the wall. I've got to hurry. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Mm. So, up here. Uh, is there any more stairs that goes up? Yep, okay. Should be it. One like that here. Be south of the side of the. is guided to. Get the south of the side Okay. Alright, so it's not this one then. Okay, go to the other wall. <laughs> oh, well, 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 what do we have here? Okay, hmm. I'm still wondering if this is really Joshua or not. Oh, after a long time. Um. Um. <laughs> Uh, uh, wait a minute. Is it up here? Is it over here? Maybe. Yeah, it should be it. Let's just, yep, there we go. Bum, bum. Oh, uh, that shadow. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Screw you, game! <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> really? It... Curse that Philip and his scolding! Who does shit think I am? I'm... I'm Dunan von Nosler's! I'm the rightful heir to this country! Ick! I I drank too much beer. That kind of stuff was quite thirsty, though. I suppose lowering my gust 
shelf to the level of this fashion and be enjoyable sometimes. <laughs> fashion, those rats, Claudia, and that brazen girl. Why, how could little girls like them? Why did they confuse me, sir? With their words? And that? Your suffering is great indeed, Your Highness. Okay, Amalthea. How can you get inside this place to begin with? Because there's a lot of like Royal Army guards like patrolling around, and you can sneak up inside the Gransel. Hmm, you got some skills there, girl. You got some skills. Your research, Captain Canone Amalthea, Your Highness. It is good to see you well, though I suspect I may have caught you at a bad time. What do you want with me? You're a wanted woman, you know? Well then, there it goes. Whoa. Don't be so tense, your highness. You might get hurt. I simply need your help, that's all. If you would come with me. Mm, I don't think it's Joshua. Based on the hair as well, it's not Joshua. From the shadow it is. But... Yep! <laughs> I knew it! Huh? Father Kevin! What? That's the... That you? Kevin! Uh... Wh why are you here? He... Isn't here. Well, hey! Been a while, hasn't it? How's this for chances? You don't think there might be a destiny thing between us two? Kevin, listen! Did you meet anyone else on your way here? Uh, someone else? Wait, you're here to meet someone too? Yeah, just... Uh, hold on. You too? Yeah, I got called out here by a ladder. Really? Me too! <laughs> what a crazy coincidence! <laughs> I know, right? Or not! No way this is just a coincidence! Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. So then, Joshua called you out here too, huh? Uh, Joshua? Ain't that... that boyfriend you were talking about? Um... Oh, I had no idea. Didn't think Joshua would be quite that... Uh, well seasoned. I mean, hey, don't get me wrong. Love can fill in any gap in age. You'd think that it'd mean I'd have a shot, though. Um, I kind of get the sense we're having two different conversations here. <laughs> you said you got called here by a ladder from someone. Who? Yeah, a ladder delivered address to me at Grenzel Cathedral. The man who delivered it was a fairly handsome middle-aged guy. Middle-aged guy? But Joshua's the same age as... the same age I am. What would you ever think he's some old dude? Really? <laughs> of course, I was uh, wondering what was up with that. That's my line. But then, what the heck is going on? Wait, this is... A trap, a trap, it is a trap! Huh. I knew it. What? I was afraid of that. Oh man, so much for coincidences. Here they come. Alright. Let's do this then. Let's see what can we do. Hmm. Let's see how bad they are. Ah, not too bad. Critical. Ah, you have some Telos, you have some Tira, you have some Curia. You pretty good. We can do this pretty nicely, no? Hmm. Let's just normal attack. Bam. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, dark matter, eh? Okay. Jeez, that's really hard. <laughs> okay, not a big deal. Nah, it's all good. Everything is still under control, you know? Nothing to worry about. Bam. I think I might as well just focus on one person, uh, one enemy first. Like this guy? Yeah. So quick! So <laughs> I love his voice. <laughs> this is why I love voicing Father Kevin. 
Oh, he's he's <laughs> he's really nice to voice around. Uh, and I can act like him like pretty good. Okay, now so mm, might as well just heal up. Eh. Okay. Everything is still under control. Hmm. Oh shoot. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you freaking kidding me? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay, hold on. I. Oh uh, yeah. I don't have the information quartz with me equipped. Okay. Okay. Let me deal with this guy. Got strength up as well. So okay. quick. Kevin, boy, <laughs> is right in front of you. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, that is really cool. What's this? Is it? Ah, okay, it's a support. All right, got it. Got it. That's lame. <laughs> ah. What's the point of using that then? Ah. Uh, <laughs> All right, no biggie, no biggie. All right. Oh wait. Hmm. Twenty CP for the chain. Sora. Sora. Ah, it's gonna heal up again. Hmm. I need to do something with it. Can't do anything. See? I hope this is enough though. Mm. Oh oh oh, maybe I can use this. Cancel arts and craft. Yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. Cancel that! Well, he's still gonna cast it anyway. Ah, uh, shoot. That's lame. Oh, uh, I hate this <laughs> so much. All right, buddy. You're acting tough, aren't you, huh? Mm -hmm. Ah, shoot. <laughs> I did get rage. All right, let's attack normally again. Uh, whatever. Okay, I really need Astal CP to max out. Let me try the chain. Okay. Hopefully this is enough. Not really. Not really. Oh. Poor Kevin, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, I have two choice. Either attack. He's not gonna dead. Or should I heal? It's too long. Ah. Heal it is then. Estel, come on. Come on, you can do this, right? Come on now. <laughs> come on, you can beat at least one of them. Ah, there you go. That was the damage of the foot. <laughs> Just. Ah, stop healing. For God's sake. <laughs> Alright. So we can now focus on this guy. Fairly easy. Brah. What's you gonna do? Another dark matter? Not a big deal. Brah. That's critical for ya. Hopefully after this, he should be dead. Aita! <laughs> Alright. 
All right. Bam. Yep, he's dead. Da -da 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 -da. Huh. That fight should be easy. But the heals, <laughs> the heals, man. These are. Yeah. So why does Father Kevin being called here as well? That's another question. What the heck was that? And those things, they were like, they were less like monsters and more like, yeah, they were kind of like the archaisms in Grandsel Castle's sealed ruins, puppet weapons of some sort. Trick is, they looked like they were built recently. What do you mean? Well, archaisms are ancient, and you could tell by the wear, right? But looking at them, the way the orbments were made, those things were modern. They're just about as good as the ones from down below too. Oh, I see. Wait, a second. How do you know about what's beneath Grandsel Castle? Yeah. Hey, who goes there? Just a visitor. Ah, a soldier. Thought I heard something. You too, what are you doing here? Wait a moment, please. We were just attacked by strange machines. Strange? What? Sorry to have caused such a disturbance, sir. Actually, the little lady here is a member of the Brazil Guild, you see. We are in the middle of investigating something. Huh? A brazier? Really? That's the main. Make with the notebook and patch. Why don't you? Let the nice man know he doesn't need to shoot his ass in the face. Uh, oh, sure. As long as your warrant officer grabs the notebook and badge. Hmm, they look real. At least. So what's this something you're investigating? A terrorist group who call themselves the Society of Ouroboros. They've been kept conducting experiments and causing troubles all over the country recently. Kevin, boy! Kevin, man! Are you sure you're gonna spill out this right away? Do you think it's a good idea to do that? I don't know. Feels like... I don't know. We were pursuing a lead on them when we got attacked by these machines. Wait, come to think of it. HQ did tell us to keep an ear open for things relating to our society. So are those guys out on the roads us also with this group then? Wait, hold on. Someone showed up on the roads? What do you mean? We just got word from the squad guarding the Herbal Royal Villa. They were attacked by an armed group. That was fast. What? Good news is, Legend Colonel Sid and company managed to send them pack in with no trouble. At the moment, they've got the roads closed and they're hunting the attackers. Oh, great. Things really are getting serious. We should probably book it back to the guildhouse then. Uh, but... Yeah, those guys might be the same ones you're after. Alright, we'll keep an eye on this area. You two get back to the capital guildhouse. Go on. Thanks, sir. Come on, SL. Let's get back. Wait. Hold on a... Let's just... Let's just go for now. Let's just go for now, okay? I know it's... It's a lot to take in, you know? But let's just go back for now. Now, just a dang second! Kevin! If that's even your name, you can weasel your way out of this. <laughs> Guess you won't just let it slide, huh? Cheeky wings aren't helping your case, buster. Look, who in the hell are you? You know what we're doing, you know what about Grandsel Castle, you know about Ouroboros. Don't tell me you're just some wandering priest. I promise, I've never lied to you. I am a full priest of the church, though it's true that I'm not just a priest, you could say. Yeah, that's super reassuring and not sinister at all. I'll explain everything later, and I do mean everything. I was serious when I said we should get back to the guildhouse though. I have a feeling some serious stuff is going down. Huh? Serious stuff? <sighs> now I'm totally confused. Why? I was going to see Joshua again. Why did all this? Hmm, about that. That letter from your boyfriend. You sure it's from him? Huh? Yeah, from what the girl who gave me the letter said, I cannot imagine it's anyone else. But this girl doesn't actually know your Joshua by sight, right? In that case, it'd be easy enough to get someone who looks close enough. But, but, even the handwriting is like Joshua's. It's easier to spoof handwriting than you think, especially if you know how a person writes. It's definitely easy enough to fool someone who... Uh, 
already wants to believe. He is glad that I got a, at the cathedral, for the record. Giffen produced an envelope from his pocket. It's the same writing. What? Thought so. We both got the same envelope. The letter I got promised me a juicy lead on what I've been investigating. So both letters were done by the same group? But who? Why? No idea. Maybe the society? Maybe someone else? All I can say is, they got us both hook, line, and sinker. Don't. With me. Eh? I don't know who these jerks are, but they don't get to screw with me. Pretending to be Joshua and trying to lure me to my death? I won't let them get away with this. You hear me? I'm beating your faces in, you jerks! Gah, my ears! Calm down, Estelle. Getting worked up and losing our focus is exactly what the people behind this want to have happen. Let's head back to go over what we know, okay? Yeah, okay. Though, Kevin, just to be clear, I still don't trust you. <laughs> if you, like, do a big dramatic reveal as an Ouroboros agent or something, I will brain you. Got it? <laughs> don't worry. Hey, I'd love to get it by you. <laughs> really now? I'm always willing to sacrifice my body for the woman I love. What are you? Oh, come on. Stop trying to distract me from my burning distrust here. It's what I do best. <laughs> so, like I said, back to the guild house. Let's go. Alright. Okay. This is getting weird. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna leave this episode when we reach Grenzel. So... Hmm. I don't know why, but I was I'm thinking that Rene make up this ladder. But how does she know about Kevin as well though? That's the question. I mean she knows about uh, what Estelle's doing. That's pretty uh fair enough I guess because she's been around with us for this all this time while we discussing all this Ouroboros thing stuff, you know, and discussing with Joshua as well. So, hmm, I have no idea. Oh shoot, I'm progressing. Well, I should have. My bad. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave this episode after this uh, scene. Then. Hmm. Okay. Man, sun's done already. I hope things are okay at the villa. Well, they might have contacted the guild. Come on, let's go check in. Right. Um, Kevin? Sorry about some of the things I said back there. I was kinda out of it. Hey, it's cool. You were a bit messed up because you were thinking of your boyfriend. I get it. I'm not worried about it, so relax. Thanks, but I'm sorry. I still can't fully trust you. Kasim! Can't win, can I? <laughs> well, I should be able to convince you that I'm not an Ouroboros death merchant or whatever at your guild house, you see. Miss Estelle. Oh, Philip. Huh? Philip? Uh, uh, hello, pardon me for imposing upon you, but Miss Estelle, I must ask, have you seen the Duke? Duke Dunan? Uh, we met this, we met him this morning. Has something happened? I would like to know. He left at around noon and has yet to return or even contact us. I've searched all the places his highness might have gone, but... Oh, for... What's he doing? We're busy enough as it is. You know what, Philip? Come with us. We're going back to the guild house. If the Duke's in trouble, someone might have contacted the guild. That is true. Allow me to come accompany you then. And who are you, sir? Kevin Graham, traveling priest of the Septian Church. A pleasure, sir. How very polite. <clears throat> I am the butler, the Duke Dune and Von Osless, Philip. Come on, we can do big introductions later. Let's get back to the guild house. Alright, good. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm just gonna leave this episode here. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Things are starting to kicking off real fast now. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. It starts to kick off when you're least expecting it. So, oh, this game, man. But, uh, yeah, so anyway. Hmm. Yeah, things are getting pretty dangerous at this point because Duke Dunan get uh, 
abducted by Amalthea, and then people, some weird people are attacking. I assume it's Campanella again, using the uh, marionette or the puppet, disguising as a intelligence division or something, or maybe something else. The uh, attacking the Herbe Royal Villa, and then this the latter as well. True, this that has been sent to Kevin and Estel as well because they want to get rid of this too as well hmm things are getting spicy up in here <laughs> so yeah anyway I guess that's that's it for today well thank you guys so much for watching thank you for coming thank you for having fun together with me it's probably lost weather fun and I'll see you guys in the next video see ya